Hey everybody, it's about a month away from Christmas and Roz and I know that everyone's looking forward to it a lot this year, maybe even a bit more than usual. We also know that it's been a little bit harder than normal to get out and buy Christmas presents. Uh, so if you're still looking for a gift for the backpacker in your life, we've got a couple of suggestions for you in the under 25, under 50, under 100, and over $100 price ranges. So we're going to start with gifts under $25. These gifts tend to help reduce frustration at camp or just make life a lot simpler. And even though they're generally small and inexpensive, they have a large impact on quality of life in around the campsite. First item on the list is something every backpacker needs. It's the light duty shovel. It's not much larger than your hand and light duty shovels get used a lot on trail to help with digging cat holes so that you can go use the bathroom when they're not available. Lightweight aluminum or titanium shovels work better than plastic because they help cut through turf and roots in the area and they're just easier to use generally. You can find many different kinds of these shovels but we're using the You Dig It aluminum shovel and it's about $16 on Amazon and most of the shovels that we've seen in person locally are, are also usually around the $15 to $20 mark. Next up are headlamps. Headlamps are a great piece of gear to use in the backcountry. Uh, hiking in the dark's not fun, and neither is leaving your tent when you have to go use the bathroom in the middle of the night. Um, when you're looking for a headlamp for backcountry use, you should make sure that it has uh, both a white light and a red light on it. The red light's really useful for not spotlighting other people's tents and disturbing them once it is dark out. Um, because honestly, if your tent gets spotlighted, it's pretty blinding. There's a lot of different headlamps to choose from, and I've been using a headlamp by Vecchia for the last uh, year now, and it's actually been really good, and I'd recommend it. Uh, most headlamps are going to be in the $15 to $20 range, both online and, and locally, so you can kind of go find whatever you want at most stores. The last suggestion we have for under $25 gifts is aluminum tri-point tent stakes. They're much more sturdy and bite into the ground a lot better than either regular cylindrical tent stakes or the V-tent stakes that a lot of tents come with now, um, and remove a lot of frustration in bending uh, tent stakes when you're in a rocky area. And these tent stakes are also made from aluminum and make them much lighter as well. We use a set of these tent stakes all summer as a replacement for what came stock with our tent, and we managed to not bend any stakes throughout the whole summer, and we actually really liked using them. You can find a set of 12 tent stakes on Amazon for about $20, and all of the tent stakes we found locally are tend to be in the $20 to $25 range as well. I'd also like to give a brief shout out to my mom for buying uh, me the shovel and the headlamp and the tent stakes I just talked about for my birthday last year. And we used them a lot all summer and they've been great. So next up are gift ideas for under $50. Um, obviously all the under $25 are included in this, but the next one I would suggest is either the Sawyer Squeeze or the Sawyer Mini. Both of these water filters are probably the best piece of gear Rosalind and I own. They make water filtration easy, uh, accessible, and, uh, well, foolproof. We've never had an issue with water filtration. The Sawyer Squeeze comes in at around $45, depending on what you uh, get with it for attachments and bags and accessories. And the Sawyer Mini comes in around $33, uh, depending on what you pick with it as well. We've never actually been able to find these in store, so the only place we know where you can buy them is on Amazon. Another good gift you could get the backpacker in your life for under $50 is a giant box of hand warmers. So hand warmers have turned a lot of our colder nights into acceptable nights. And on trips where we think it's going to get to zero or below, we'll generally take two each per day. At night, you just fire one up, put it in your sleeping bag, and it helps keep you warm for, well, the entire night while you're sleeping. Depending on the brand you get, uh, the price can vary a lot, as well as how many you're getting. Uh, we use uh, the Little Hotties brand hand warmers, and for $35 on Amazon, you can get a pack of 40 pairs of them. So you get 80 hand warmers for $35. Locally, uh, we've seen a huge variety in prices, but you can generally find something worth buying in the $30 to $40 range. To round out the under $50 category, we suggest getting something that every backpacker or adventurer needs, which is high-quality socks. Merino wool socks are quick drying, tough, uh, depending on the style you get, they're padded uh, to help with foot fatigue throughout the day, and they both help wick away heat and moisture from your feet. Online, Merino wool socks tend to be in the $25 to $30 range uh, from what we've found, 
But when we've uh, seen them in stores, they've generally been in the $35 to $40 range for high quality merino wool socks. And we recommend getting the Smart Wool brand because that's what we've been using for two years. Moving on to the under $100 category, first suggestion we have for here is a titanium pot. So titanium pots tend to be around $60 to $75 depending on the size you're getting. They're lighter than most other options and are definitely part of the lightweight or super lightweight backpacker journey depending on how light you want to get your backpack. For a single person, a 750 milliliter pot is probably more than enough. And for the two of us, we use a 1300 milliliter pot and that's enough to cook two meals in. Uh, so we've been using the Tokes 1300 milliliter pot all summer and have found it to be pretty good. Both online and locally, stuff tends to be around $70 depending on what other accessories you're buying with the pot at the time. And it's honestly kind of very difficult to find just the pot on its own. So you're looking at getting a pan and usually some other utensils with it as well. Item number two for the under $100 gift suggestion list is a battery pack. So battery packs are essential for long distance hikes. Uh, if you're planning on using a camera, phone, or GPS unit on a trip that's three or more days long, basically. Uh, battery packs come in many different sizes and price ranges, but we've found that for one person using their phone and a GPS, a 2000 milliamp hour battery pack should be good for five or six days. For the last couple of years, we've been using an Anchor 10,000 milliamp hour and an Anchor 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack, and we recommend it as a gift for others. It's around $60 both online and in store for the 200,000 milliamp hour one. That'll be good for a five or six day trip. The last under $100 gift suggestion that we have is actually an intro to navigation course. One thing that everyone going backpacking should know is how to navigate in the backcountry. And honestly, Roz and I are a little bit lacking in this area and hopefully going to correct it in the springtime. Setting up or paying for navigation training basics is a great gift to give backcountry lovers because it's just an added safety net for when they go out uh, on their adventures. From what we've seen, you can generally find basic navigation courses for around $75. Uh, these are going to be three or four hour courses that teach you the basics of compass use and how to use a map uh, just to get your general bearings and go from point A to point B. So the last category we have is gifts over $100. So there are a lot of things like footwear, sleeping bags, uh, down jackets that I actually suggest you don't buy without a lot of input from the person you're giving the gift to because they are very personal items and generally the user is going to want a lot of input in them to make sure that they fit properly and meet all of that person's needs. So the first actual gift suggestion we have for over $100 is wilderness training. Backcountry training comes in many shapes and sizes. There are a variety of first aid, survival, canoeing, and mountaineering courses available at different experience levels and held under different uh, conditions. So from what we found, two-day courses tend to be around the $300 mark and provide the basics of an activity and should likely be learned before the user progresses at all. Some of the highlights that we've found that we think would be a good gift are two-day wilderness first aid courses, survival courses, or nav courses. From everything we've looked at, they are very compact. They give you all of the basics that you need in a two-day period, and you can go and do them over the weekend. And honestly, the experience of doing it is definitely most of the gift that is involved there. Most of the courses that we found in the two day range are about $300. And honestly, that's just a largely pay for any equipment that's required as well as the instructor for two days. So the next gift suggestion for over $100 that we have is the Garmin InReach or something similar. As a safety and utility device, the Garmin InReach is a great piece of equipment. We use it all season. It has been very useful for weather reports and just sending a we're still alive text message to our parents, which we've been informed they greatly appreciate. So while the InReach is a pretty expensive device at $530, there are many other options out there as well. The InReach Mini is only $450 and you can get spot devices as low as $250 on regular price. I've actually seen that some spot devices are going for as low as $200 with uh, Christmas sales going on right now. So it might be a good time to look into getting one or buying one for somebody else that you know would use it. One thing to note with the inReach and spot devices and most GPS communication equipment is that 
it is going to need a subscription. So these plans are usually in the $20 to $40 range, as well as needing usually a $30 to $40 activation fee, depending on who you get the plan through. So along with buying the piece of equipment or device, uh, you also need to make sure that whoever's getting is going to be willing to keep up that subscription fee or that part of your gift is offering to keep up that subscription fee for a four to six month period during the backpacking season. The last over $100 gift suggestion that we have is to offer to help with transport. Probably the most thoughtful gift you can give is to help out with transport. One of the most annoying parts about longer hikes is getting transportation at either end of the trail. Offering to help set up vehicles at the start of the trip so that the backpacker in your life finishes the trail with a vehicle is a great gift to give them. One thing I will note is that you should definitely help set up prior to the trip. Offering to pick up at the end will involve a lot of waiting and trying to figure out when they're going to arrive and it'll also kind of stress out the person making sure they get there on time. So it's much more convenient to set things up so that when they're done the trail, the backpacker in your life can just get into a vehicle and drive home. One thing I should warn you about with this is that setting up vehicles on a trailhead is likely going to take most of a day and involve driving a hundred or so kilometers, if not more, to help set up vehicles at both ends of the trailheads. And that's why it's in the over hundred dollar category, but it's probably the most meaningful gift that you can give somebody is to help out with this. So hopefully that helps you with any Christmas gift or any other kind of present for the backpacker or adventurer in your life. So I'd also like to thank everyone who's been commenting, sharing, and liking our posts and videos. The feedback is great. So everybody stay safe out there and have a good week.